Hey folks, Tornado Twins here and every three to four months we bring out a new version of FPS Control and I am very happy to uh, sneak peek for you the Weapon Control Editor which is one of the major updates in uh, this uh, late March release uh, for the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. So um, here you have it. There are a, uh, a couple of weapons here in view and you might think, wow, well, why are they a little bit all over the place? Uh, the reason is that you can drag in any type of uh, weapon handling 3D model that you have and weapon control will turn it into a real weapon. So uh, let's take a look here and I'm gonna tweak the weapon at runtime while the game is playing. You can do both. You can uh, do it while the game is not running or while the game is running, uh, which is pretty darn awesome. So if you ever heard the term of we're building an airplane in mid-air, then we've just actually make that happen for real. So I'm sitting here with my mind blown and face melted and I can't wait to show you all this. So let me go into the game and switch to my uh, uh, gun here that uh, is a Beretta. And then I'm going to click on the editor to uh, sort of freeze the view there and uh, it allows me to change anything I want. So here's for example the X, Y and Z placement of the gun. So if I change the Z you can see the gun starts moving forward or backward. The X moves it left and right, you know, however you want it. And then the Y of course moves it up and down. So I think this is about right here is pretty good. Uh, then I can change the angles also of course and then you know this case it doesn't really help me much but um, you know if you have a gun model that is a little bit weird angled you can fix that at runtime. Next there is a light burst that I can add and I've already added it for you um, so the the name of the light is blast and I've attached it at the position uh, which is a bone in front of this gun that ha that's called shoot from which uh, we use for triggering particles and that sort of stuff. At this point I don't have any particles set up on the gun but I could add three particle effects uh, when I fired a gun as well, which is pretty awesome. So you can have um, ammo coming out of the side, you can have a blast, a muzzle, a muzzle flash at the front, that kind of thing. So let's test the, uh, let's test the uh, light real quick. So if you see when I get closer to the wall, you can see that it has a quick light burst. Um, all right, one more thing, or actually a couple more things here is uh, I can uh, render a fire path so that's very useful when I have like a laser weapon or uh, you know um, an angular uh, grenade path I could uh, render all that out sound effects are just easy drag and drop and they will be assigned then it gets even more interesting I can change the amount of damage this gun does compared to other guns so a pistol is not that great but I mean it does some damage then I can disperse that radius so if you have a shotgun you would have a wide rip blast radius but with a pistol it's, it's, it's pretty small then I can change the number of ray casts that are used for uh, inflicting damage so with a uh, shotgun you can uh, you know have it uh, pelt out over you know 12 ray casts or whatever but most cases you just leave this at one Another cool feature is that I can change the damage over distance. So uh, let me uh, X these out here. If I say, okay, I want to have a distance of 40 meters, so 40 units in unity, and then uh, halfway it's still 100% damage, and then somewhere close to the, the end, the fall off starts to happen at a 70%, for example. You could even move that to the other side and have a little dip. Whatever you want to do, you can. I can change the type of ammo, if it's a clip, if, it's a, uh, if it recharges over time, if it's unlimited. Um, I can drag in my mesh, 3D mesh here, and it will automatically detect all the animations in it so I can assign the animations uh, for the gun to use. Um, and then the, the gun handling has been completely rebuilt from scratch. Uh, so if I look up and down quickly, it doesn't do any weird stuff anymore. Uh, also, you can see that the gun is handled by really smooth physics. Uh, which sort of rotate the gun as I, as I move it around. Also crouching has been introduced. If I hit control, I go down. And another thing that has been introduced is scoping. So I just right click and I can set the scoping position of the gun also in the editor. And let me show you one more super cool thing is I can uh, add a firing pattern, for example, for an Uzi or what have you. So instead of only firing once, it uh, fires over a pattern. So I can put in one second here and in one second it will shoot three times. So one, two, and three, which allows you to quickly prototype what this would look like. Let me show you when I uh, fired a gun. It shoots it, it fires it three times with one trigger. So you can uh, pretty much make up any weapon you want. It also supports melee weapons. So if I go to uh, my sword here, 
I have that. And, um, you know, I'm not going to show you too much of that yet because I want to keep some of it a surprise. But uh, melee weapons, ranged weapons, uh, angular weapons, projectile weapons, everything is supported inside of this system. So uh, that's a quick sneak peek. I hope you like it. If you want to know more, go to fpscontrol.com and put your name in the newsletter so you, that you would be the first to uh, get this one once we release the, that GDC. It may be a limited release at first, so uh, make sure um, you're on our list. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.